Max, these supervillains really know how to dress. It takes a special kind of criminal sociopath to carry off a maroon velvet cape. Yeah, I never thought we'd finally apprehend... The Mad Thespian. Taunt me your worst, freelance police. For you shall not survive to taunt me come the dawn. <laughs> Sleep sound, fated woodland creature. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee! Max! Heads up, little buddy! Oh, nice play, Shakespeare. But you're taking the ball! Curse you, Sam and Max! Wretched rapscallions! Ah! Well, that just burns me up. What, that he can say rapscallions without laughing? No, because he got to go first. <laughs> you crack me up, little pal. stain on the fabric of civilization run through the rinse cycle of justice. Courtesy of yours truly. Say cheese! Doodles! Lorne! It's Lorne, the friend for life! That's me! Hey guys, awesome pinch! And lucky me right here to snap it! So, uh, where is he? The mad thespian. I just need one of him and me for my collection. Probably on a bus to Trenton, thanks to you. You mean he got away? Fled the scene? And we were just two perps away from winning a toaster. Great! This means we'll have the fun of catching them all over again, right? Right? You're not happy with me. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> Punch it, Sam! What you gotta know, I'd never do anything to disappoint you guys. You gotta. I'm here. In for life. I love you guys! Okay, okay, easy, big fella. It uh, probably wasn't your fault at all. Then, since we're pals again, why don't I tag along and help you track him down? That mad thespian is no match for Sam and Max and their useful award! <laughs> Already hot on the heels of their next big caper. And as junior disciple to Sam and Max, I will do everything in my power to help them in this, their hour of self-doubt and need, or my name isn't Lauren! The friend for life! I hate to resort to that sort of subterfuge, but what do you do with a guy like Lauren? I know! Get him to follow a marshmallow peanut trail into the furnace? That would be patently irresponsible, Max. And besides, we don't have a furnace. Ah, oh, yeah. You can hit the brakes now. Well, here we are at the secret lair of the elusive Mad Thespian. Amazing that we could zero in on him using only morsels of info gathered from the minuscule clods of butter so carpet fibers shed from the seat of his bloomers. Ew. Remember, kids, we're professional cartoon characters. Don't try this at home. Hello! You're under arrest, remember? Crimes against humanity? He probably went to the snack bar for jelly babies. I don't think so, Max. Look, clearly our mad old thespian was shanghaied while sitting down to dinner. What a sad, senseless waste. Hey, little man. Do you see what happened here? It was a big guy, waddles in, Picks up the mad thespian, then carries him out like a velvety bolster cushion. Looks like Lauren got to him first. A poor sap. I got it! Oh, I Max, got it. it's a trap! Hi, Max, it's me, Lauren. The friend for life. I thought you'd be there. Hey, you won't believe what happened to me after we split up. I found a clue, and... <laughs> Why am 
my telling you this? You being the freelance police, you probably pieced this whole puzzle together. You being the wily veterans of crime solving it all. Huh? Ah! Stop stalking us! Well, that's telling him. Okay, so why don't you swing by my place and I'll fill you in? Somebody! Wants to talk to you! Say hello. Say it! Hello, freelance police! Help me! He's mine! It's not quite right! Please, hurry! All right, that's enough. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> See you in a bit. Well, what do you know? Who'd have thought we'd have to rescue one of our most notorious enemies from the deranged clutches of our biggest fan? It's wildly ironic. You're sort of a present to my pals, but I just can't hand you over. Oh, no, no, no. That's not how they do things. <laughs> You'll see. Sam and Max are going to cheat death just to bag your pasty little keister right here tonight. <laughs> you are so lucky. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not much time left before my guests arrive. I still need to set out crackers and cheese whip, heat up some corn dogs, and arm that lethal booby trap gauntlet. There it is. It's sort of fitting that Lorne makes his home down in the bowels of that funhouse. Huh. That's the first time I've ever heard the words bowels and funhouse in the same sentence. Get used to it. This could be dangerous, Max. You know, an idle mind is the devil's monkey bars. A nugget of wisdom from your twisted granny? Who else? Bless her enlarged heart. <laughs> well, what do you know? Think it's a trap? Gee, I hope so. Crime! Punishment! The pursuit of blindly ruthless villains! More punishment! This is the world of Sam and Max! Freelance police! It's like our life passing before our eyes. Who knew our life would have such limp special effects? <laughs> Say, these cheap paper mache dummies can really take a punch. Max lost a leg walk on the head of Hack Hatchet. Sam engages this with a jump and a dive. Hack is out cold. But here comes Max Sam to back up his teammate. Whoops, this is a frisky one. They're up and all over him with a blinding memory of the hose. And he's gone. Sam and Max cheat death once more. A playful skirmish, but hardly the colorful melee of our 86 robot attack. <laughs> there he goes. He's a lively little scamp, isn't he, Max? Isn't it precious how he thinks he's fooling us? I beg of you, sir, unshackle me from these fetters. My silky drawers are binding up. Stop whining. Think how impressed your bunkmates in the state pen will be when you tell them you witnessed Sam and Max cheat death just to snag your oily hide. Gee, I hope they didn't get stuck in the shoe. Freelance police, arrest me at once! The jabbering, I can't endure the jabbering! Hush up! Anytime, guys! Let's go! Bust on out of there! Whenever you're ready! <laughs> what? You're giving up? What about cheating death? After all the trouble I've gone through, is this any way to treat a... to treat a friend for life? Never be bad again! I'm sorry, but we don't believe you. Max, hand me that plumber snake. <laughs> well, Lorne, somehow you rustled up the mad thespian, gave us a chance to chuckle in the face of death, and took us for a spin in a cute little funhouse car. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but we owe you one. We owe you one. We owe you one. We owe you one. Wow. Hearing those words from the lips of the freelance police. Oh, man, it's just too much. <laughs> Friends for life, eh? Now, about this shrine. Yeah, what's the deal with these wax figures and the yellowy news clippings? It's so outdated. You think so? Oh, yeah. A Sam and Max website is the way to go. You're right. 
I don't know why I didn't think of it. With it, I can pass on all the legend and lore that is Sam and Max. It'll be glorious. Oh, but gee, this is going to take up all my free time. I might drift apart. That would be a darn shame. But you know what my granny always says. An idle mind is the devil's twirly ride. Close enough. We're gone. <laughs>